me Let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you'll go Don't make me wait There's no need to hesitate Let's make footprints in sand Let's make miracles Come hold my hand Let's find something new
Let's make miracles Come hold my hand Let's find Something new Me and you PhD student, he is accused of attacking the four university students Maddie, Kaylee, Ethan and Zana in their sleep in the early morning hours of November the 13th and the court has now set a motion hearing for May the 25th. So that is the date for the court to address a motion on the gag order and Shannon Gray, the attorney for Steve and Kirsty Gonzalez, which is Kaylee Gonzalez's father, have confirmed this information. 
The 21-year-old daughter, Kayla Gonzalez, was one of the victims killed in the home around 4am on November the 13th. And I completely understand why they would fight this gag order and why it is so important to them. The heartache that this family and all the families have gone through is just horrific and I don't think any of us could even imagine the heartache that this family are actually feeling right now. Meghan Marshall had previously said that she would not address the motion on the gag order until after the Idaho Supreme Court had issued a decision on the appeal from the media coalition led by the Associated Press. But it was said that the state's highest court dismissed the appeal, finding that it should have been filed in a lesser court. Well, later, Prosecutor Bill Thompson's office on Monday told that it was not able to comment on the nature of the hearing. And Coburger's defence attorney, Ann Taylor, did not respond to a request for comment. Coburger is charged with the four counts of first-degree murder, murder and one count of felony burglary. The Moscow, Idaho police have alleged that he stalked the victims prior to this incident. They all suffered multiple stab wounds from a large knife. This was according to the county coroner and detectives found a K-bar knife sheath next to Madison Mogun's body, which they say contained some kind of DNA that linked to Coburg at the crime scene. Though phone records and surveillance video, police said were that they were able to link Coburger and the white Hyundai Elantra to the crime scene. They arrested him at his parents' house in the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania on the 30th of December. And while some of the victims' families have said that they will be attending the hearing, others have said that they will be staying away from their son's suspected killer. Ethan's family have said that they would rather spend time together during this difficult time. Let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you'll go, don't make me wait There's no need We will present a Bachelor of Science in Business degree to the family of Madison May Mogan. 